Hello, everybody. Ah, no, wait. My church background. Sa. <laughs> Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Nice to see you again. Today, you're playing Vampire's Melody again, part 6 I think now, right? But instead of choosing the other a choice from last, from the last part, maybe you can still remember if you didn't just binge watch everything. Last time we robbed a store that was... Um, yeah, part of a of a diligent group, um, and we robbed that store, and they chased us. They wanted to shoot us, and they actually did shoot Raylan, and uh, Raylan died from that. And um, there was also a choice if we go one way or the other. And um, my guide says that for the next ending, we have to start somewhere else. We have to go way back into the past. Yes, I'm playing with a guide, so I don't bore you with stupid endings. So, where we want to go today is chapter 3, where we were in the hotel, if you can remember. We wanted to stay in the hotel, but we couldn't because we didn't have any identification documents. And there we had another choice that leads up to different endings which we're gonna find out today let's go so the choice affects follow-up yeah I guess that was the one that uh, was a bit um, yeah <laughs> so what we did last time was where to obtain them but this time we are going to choose we forgot to bring, I think. Yes, <laughs> we forgot to bring. Let's go. Uh, you see, we left in a hurry today and didn't have time to bring them with us. <laughs> oh gosh, how she... Oh, that was cute. Like, yes, yes, go for it. <laughs> I blatantly make up a lie and even pet my chest. We can't get them now. Please allow us to stay here for one night. If you really need one, I get it for you when I wake up tomorrow morning. Oh. The manager looks at me quietly. Then he comes over to size Yella and I up. And I up a few times. Finally, he asks, asks in a low voice. Have you really forgotten to bring them with you? Or you don't have one at all? Uh, I... What should I do? I'm a little nervous and have to look at Yella again. <laughs> she, she winks at me. What does that mean? Good job, Yella. You're doing nothing. Don't tell me I have to maintain my story. Fine. I follow her instructions. So I clear my throat. We really forgot to bring them with us. The manager didn't say anything. He takes a file from the counter and starts to grind his fingernails. Look, it's so late at night. Our home is quite far away and we can't possibly go back at this hour. Could you make an exception and allow us to stay for one night, please? Hmm. The manager sneers lightly at us. He gently blows on his fingernails and begins to fire his ripe thumbnail. We have money, but we made a mistake today, so we can pay a bit more. I will bring that whatever identification here tomorrow. Look, how does 120 sound? Hey, why did you add so much that quickly? Yella pokes at my ribs and whispers those words into my ear. That's true. Oh my god, Raylan, you fucking moron. Upon thinking further, I realize she's right, and I shouldn't offer such a large amount on the first go. So I continue with my bid. One, one hundred and one. <laughs> Upon hearing my offer, Yella's eyes pop wide open, as if she wants to say something. But it seems she's at loss for words, and she just closes her mouth. Despite the higher amount I'm offering, the manager doesn't seem to be interested. 
He also becomes impatient. Oh, identification. Identification. A valid identification. Why are you repeating it three times? Show it to me. Um, a hundred and ten? You don't understand what people are saying? The manager chucks his fire on the counter, adjusts the snack which produces cracking noises, and then gets up as he smacks the desk. <laughs> There's no need for this. We are talking about a deer here. How about this? 115. Hey, you don't understand what people are saying, young man. He doesn't understand. You can tell me. <laughs> God shouldn't interrupt. What did you say? Those words appear to have hit a raw nerve. A master's contract and she's staring at the man behind the counter. This is definitely the prelude to an attack. Get out if you don't have any identification. I don't entertain people without identities. This lady's identity isn't something people like you deserve to know. Simmer down. Simmer down. We look for another place elsewhere. I will sleep on the corridor, okay? I quickly pull Yella when I see the two of them stare daggers at each other. Because I know Yella's power and temper. If the situation worsens, the manager will definitely meet an unpleasant fate, such that he may even lose his life, and we probably have to remain being on the run again. I'm going to call the police if you could continue to hang around. The don't call the police. We leave. I'm going to stay here tonight. Yella's furious as expected. Calm down, Yella. Mm, can you? The manager has gone written all over his face, and he's looking down on her entirely. Calm down, calm down, lady. I hurriedly grab her arm to pull her away, but she pushes my hand away in no time. Oh my gosh, this is great. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> I will show you. Before I can pull her again, she smashes her hand against the counter. Whoa! And the entire thing is broken into two halves cleanly. In a flash like a warner that has been sun for a year. Who said I can't? The manager is completely surprised by the deafening sound and impactful scene let out in front of him. He's stunned at first, but after a moment's hesitation, he withdraws through a door at one side, trembling with fear and slamming his hand on a button near the door before hiding inside. <gasps> Oh, congrats, Leia. Yella, oh my gosh. Come out! Yella goes after him, kicks the door open, and is about to go inside when the deafening noise suddenly rings out. Oh no. Oh no! Isn't that the noise from those police cars with the flashing lights? Run, hurry! He's caught the police! Why should I? I'm going to give him a beating! No, the police will arrive soon. Then I give all of them a good beating. Calm down. Oh no. I notice a car with flashing lights has stopped outside from the corner of my eye while I am trying to persuade Yella. The police are here. What? Oh <laughs> jeez, Yella are you? Yella finally returns to herself and looks at the police car outside when she heard me call out an alarm. Run, why they still haven't left the car? I grab Yella's hand while she's still rooted to the spot, rush out of the hotel, and we flee while the police have stepped out of their car. However, we are still a bit slow. A strong steely man's voice soon booms out from behind. Freeze! Hands up! What should I do? Wow! Oh my gosh! We are going to keep running. If we stop at this point, we will definitely be thrown into the lockup. Don't run, I'm going to shoot! It doesn't make any sense to stop that someone is calling us to stop. Oh no, as I'm about to turn into an ally, uh, <laughs> as I'm about to turn into an ally in front, a gunshot suddenly rings out from behind. And they are so. 
they are so eager to shoot and be brutal in this era. Raylan? My vision is quite really getting dimmer. Oh, <laughs> Raylan! Oh, he's dead again. Yella, run. And, <gasps> oh my gosh, law is law. Well, okay then. <laughs> that was quick. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and um Yeah, what can I say? Yella, good job. You you did fucking nothing. You neither beat the hotel manager or the police. Uh you did you did super good. Great. <laughs> okay. Um But that's not it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna end this here. We're gonna gonna go with another uh, end now. Flowchart, where where are we here? The police is chasing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Actually, okay, we're gonna find this out later. But yeah, branch A. Ooh, branch B, ba branch. Is this also branching? No, but okay. This is very interesting, though, that there are two other choices, but they all go to here, I guess. So it doesn't really matter if I don't read these ones out as well. So, but now, um, back to the police is chasing scene. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> raise both hands now. Don't shoot! I quickly raised my hands. Stand there, don't move, and I won't shoot. Upon hearing the police officer promise, I have a sigh of relief and glance at Yella. Eh? Where did she go? Oh, halt! Bang, 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 bang! The policeman suddenly shouted, followed by a series of gunshots from behind. I quickly cover my head and lie prone on the ground. Bullets are hitting the pavement around me, sending quite a few small fragments flying around. Why are you still playing possum over there? How are you up and come here? Oh my gosh. You would even dare to attack the police? This time the policeman who pursued us has met the same fate as the security guards from earlier and is down. Since I've experienced it, since I'm, since I've experienced it, I'm a bit used to it. Oh, I'm not starving now. They're no match for me, no matter how many they have. True to her words, the police officer is further away from us than the security guards from earlier. But she can still reach and in incapacitate him. Looks like a well fed vampire's power is simply unimaginable for ordinary people. Hurry over here and see what they have. Okay. Yella is calling me to join her in searching the police car as she climbs inside the vehicle which is still flashing its lights. Look, there are a lot of goodies in here. Yella hands me a stack of cards when I reach the side of the car. These cards have a lot of printed words and a person's face drawn on them. What are these? It's written above. Driving license. Oh my. They have a driver license now, maybe. Ah, these are the identification that manager mentioned. That's right. And it didn't take me any effort to get them. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Yella. <laughs> Yella climbs out of the car after saying it. You're done? Hmm, there's nothing else inside, save for some fights. Let's go. Give me a minute. I'm going to teach that manager a lesson. Don't, 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 don't. We still have a policeman lying down here, and other police officers will arrive soon. I don't have the kind of luck to dodge so many bullets. Yella glances at that smashed reception counter inside the moat, and her lips curve downwards. Seems she has come to her senses. Fine. I can't send it. 
Fine. Consider it his lucky day. Let's go. Oh my. After wandering aimlessly, we arrive at a 24-hour restaurant offering, pasta all day, and stop to rest inside. You have ordered pasta and tomato sauce, crispy fried fish, and the pineapple pizza. Is there anything else? By the way, do you serve any drinks here? Do you have holom root juice? No, I'm terribly sorry. We don't have that thing you mentioned. Ah, it can't be. Don't people drink those in the past? They could relieve fatigue. People around my time love to bring a flask of hollow root juice with them to relieve their weariness whenever they needed to do anything physically demanding. You can order a cup of black coffee if you'd like to have something to relieve your fatigue. Coffee? I look at the list of price for coffee on the menu. It is simply daylight robbery. Never mind. I'd like to have a glass of water. Alright. That will be $22 altogether. Are you paying by cash or credit card? She must be expecting me to pay in advance. The restaurants in this era have, are so calculating. Can't they allow patrons to finish their meal before settling their bill? Voila. I take out the wallet and hand her three notes with the number 10 printed on them. Please wait. The waitress goes after. Oh, the waitress goes away afterwards. I sniff the aromatic fried fish. The fish that is cooked in fragrant, sizzling hot oil smells so wonderful. And the fish looks so shiny. I can tell it will be very tender and delicious. In addition, the red tomato sauce, parsley leaves and golden color pasta strands complement each other well, enhancing the flavor and the pasta sweet and sour taste. I'm a bit curious at this pineapple pizza though. I'm surprised that it is really a pizza with pineapple scattered on top. What is this thing? Is it used to humiliate an actual pizza? I know we already had this part kinda, right? But it should be a bit different because we don't have the phone number now. But I'm actually surprised that Raylan comes from a medieval setting, right? And they had already pizza there. Is that is that the thing? I wonder right now. How should I put it? Things have really improved a lot since my time. At least they look good. Would you like to try some? No, you have no self-control by ordering so much. Yeah, now it's her eyes. I'm a chef after all, and we need to know the dishes we people eat in this era. Fine, eat your food slowly. I'm going to help myself then. I begin to eat in huge mouthfuls. I'm finally having a proper meal for the first time over these two days. But I can't help shedding tears over it. Do you even cry when you eat? Oh, you are so weak. Shut up. Don't talk with your mouth full. I'm going to look over these and see if there's a suitable identification for you. Yella begins to flip through the stack of driving licenses she obtained from the police car. <laughs> this man looks so ugly. <laughs> she shows a driver license to me by saying it. Mm, wow. <laughs> Shut up! I didn't allow you to talk. I nod. Eh? Does this one look like you? Yella takes out a license to show it to me when she has halfway through the steak, and I quickly swallowed the food in my mouth. <coughs> I can't see my appearance though. How do I look? Hmm. Then take this one. The two of you have the same silly features, more or less. I'm very handsome, okay? I see. You mean I look very charming to you? Haha. <laughs> You flatter me. You flatter me. You're full of yourself. Nobody said that. I mean both of you. Simply look alike. By the way, it says here on the top that this person is called John Axel. So I call you by this name in future. John, does it seem as if fate has already decided on things for you? No, I certainly won't change my name. Mr. Cook decided one... 
Mr. Cook decided on it for me. Fine, fine. Use whatever name you wish. But you're John when people ask for your identification. Get it? I get it. Ella continues to look through the rest of the driving licenses after taking out John license. She must be finding a suitable one for herself. Oh my, psh, I don't think you will find one that suits Yella, not gonna lie. <laughs> Fucking silver hair, the fuck? Does she know how she looks though? <laughs> I bring a slice of pizza into my mouth, shifting my gaze away from Yella. It just so happens that the black box hanging on the wall at one side of the restaurant has a picture of a person that seems to be moving and can even speak. It is so surprising that I nearly choke on my pizza slice. <coughs> I quickly drink a mouthful of water to calm down. Why are you in such a hurry? Nobody is competing with you for these. I've, she kinda looks disgusted, not gonna lie. No, do you know how that thing can possibly contain a person inside? I point to that black box. Who knows? Anyway. There must be something in this era. Everyone is used to it. You don't have to get so excited over it. Gila just gives the thing a passing glance before she returns to the stack of driving licenses. Hmm. Right. I have to get used to it. I decide to look a little longer and get used to it. The person in the box seems to be talking about us, right? The person in the box seems to be talking about us right now. What? Yella puts a stack of licenses down on the table and looks at the black box. This evening at around 8.15 pm, unidentified suspects broke into Essex X Art Pharmaceutical Blood Bank at 277 Garden Street. The suspects injured free security personnel. And stole blood from the depos and stole blood from their depository worth around. Is that right? Indeed, it was. That fast. The free security personnel have been sent to a hospital for observation, and they are in stable condition. But they claimed they could not remember anything at the time, as if they had developed short-term memory loss. Investigators believe this could be the work of the local cult order of fresh blood. The police would like to remind everyone to be careful when out at night and avoid cults. This is today breaking. This is today's breaking news. Next, we have a speech by President Hobbs for our military operations overseas. A fresh wave of airstrikes. When the report on us ended, I shift my attention away from the box which has a man with blonde hair appear at the back. You can even make people lose their memories when you suck their blood? Yes, it wasn't on purpose though. It's so convenient. Oh, I see you didn't suck my blood because you were afraid I would forget about you. Is that right? What? Of course not. Don't talk nonsense. I can have as many frauds like you. Yella turns away in a huff. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you're a lady who is afraid of being lonely. That's so cute. Go on, say that again. You may find everything on this table hurtling at you though. D don't Don't waste all this good food. I'd hate to see them get ruined. I shut up. I shut up. Shut up. She glares at me before she resumes flipping through the driving licenses. Looks like the police in this era, right? And those metallic skin vehicles and they arrive very quickly if anything happens. We need to be extra careful from now on and stay out of trouble. Mm. That uh, worked super good <laughs> in the last playthroughs. Do you have to tell me that? I'm not as stupid as you. I'm just worried that you may lose control of yourself. The waitress serves several glasses of water which quenches my thirst after I've finished everything on the table. It feels satisfying to have such things that I never had before. Yella suddenly asks a question. You said Mr. Cook gave you that name. What's he like? 
uh, why are you asking this question all of a sudden? Just curious. Anything wrong with that? Hmm. He was like a father to me. He was an easygoing but strict man. His culinary skills were impressive, yet he would often cry with his customers. Sounds like he had a bad temper. Why did he become your father? Actually, he was very nice. Although I had lived in this former small town when I was a child, I wasn't born here. I was born in the old continent, but I never saw my natural parents. I stayed in an orphanage from the time I could learn about things. Mr. Cook adopted me after that, so he became my father and brought me to this new continent. Really? You were born in the old continent? But you grew up in the new continent. Hmm. That's because the old continent would often have wars for many years. Mr. Cook's wife and daughter had already died. My natural parents probably met a similar fate as well. Later, they said the new continent on the other side of the ocean had a sanctuary of light filled with hope. So Mr. Cook brought me here. Yes, the humans at that time made a mess in the old continent and found new lands after a lot of difficulty. Of course, they would say it was full of hope. Hmm. Mr. Cook heard that the person would go to the sanctuary of light after they died. So he thought his wife and daughter would be at the new continent. Hence, he decided to cross the ocean and set in a place closest to them. So, both of you came here and found out this place wasn't a land filled with rays of hope. The ones who gathered in the Sanctuary of Light were only tricked by hucksters, and they made this new continent equally terrible. Who could have foreseen that? At first, we thought of leading a peaceful, settled life, yet the good times didn't last long, and a new war broke out not long afterwards. I shrugged and smiled bitterly. What about you? My story is very short, but I remember you came from a more distant place, right? Your story should be very long. Mm, I'm just a vampire, eking out an existence among people. I can live for a long time, yet I can't come out openly for more than a few days, so I will need to hide in the darkness for the rest of my life. At least you could dig an entire world to store your treasures. God knows how many lifetimes I would need to accumulate that amount of wealth. Never mind, it's all in the past now. We've been running for an entire day and you must be tired. Get some rest. Oh, here, yeah, uh, okay, I'm going to take a nap. I stretched myself upon hearing her reminder. Indeed, fatigue will take over after a full meal. Hmm. This place is a 24-hour establishment anyway. Go ahead. Go ahead and sleep. Good night. Ella didn't answer me. When I look at her, she's looking out the window, and I can't figure out what she's thinking. Of course not. My head feels heavier. I use both hands as a pillow and slowly drift off to sleep after resting my head on the table. The next morning, we are woken up by all that noise from the restaurant staff handing the furniture and eating utensils roughly. Upon looking around, I notice that waitress from last night is gone. A burly man is in her place instead. Did he stare at us just now? Are you? Yella covers her mouth and yawns. You'd also get this kind of look from others if you hang around a gambling den without placing a bet on anything. It can't be helped. Let's go. Agreed. Oh, 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 I can't feel anything on my arm. My arm suddenly feels numb when I stand up. Idiot, you could have slept directly on the comfy seat instead, you know? Ah. Uh, Come I didn't think of it. Stop standing around. Let's head out. Hmm. Since Yella is urging me to leave, I shake my arm a few times and step out of the restaurant to greet a new day. 
my whole body is aching. Right, we can't go on like this. Yes, I will feel... Yes, I will fall apart at this rate. I nod in agreement and point at my aching limbs and back. The pain will probably kill me if you have to spend every night in this way. And we smell so bad, even the dogs may despise us if we continue like this. Oh. Yela didn't argue with me. She seems to have recognized the fact that she has a strong body odor on herself as well. <laughs> I slept on the soft bed not too long ago. No, it was actually just leaves that you slept on, Yela. Don't vampires sleep in coffins? Only old vampires. Well, behind the times, who would sleep in those playthings to look dignified? I'm different. Really? We chat along the way until Yella stops in her tracks when we pass a five story apartment. Units for rent. One bedroom, one living room, and one bathroom. Furnishings provided. $1,500 per month. She is attracted by an advertisement signboard in front of an apartment. What? $1,500? It comes to only 50 per day. And we'll be much cheaper to stay there in a hotel. We don't have that amount of money. Yes, you're right. I count our money and we only have 70 left. What should we do then? What should we do? Money, money... Yella frowns, shuts her eyes and begins to mumble. We can't possibly rob others all the time. Yeah, just one more time. <laughs> Yella suddenly opens her eyes, as if she's hit upon a bright idea before I can finish. I'm actually surprised that they didn't rob the policeman of their money as well. Not gonna lie. Just took their license cards. Their driver license. Rob? Exactly! Isn't that money? We just need to snatch it from others since this is my forte. Let's go and see who is that unfortunate soul for today. W wait, look around you. Did you notice a police car with those wailing noises would pass us every few minutes? Do you think they will allow you to rob anyone as you please? You're really stupid. I won't rob anyone in front of the police. We should look for people who are alone. No, aren't you a vampire with your principles? We look for lone criminals then. They are the same. Criminals? Besides, a few policemen are no match for me. I can deal with all of them. It feels as if we've strayed off topic. <laughs> Yella has to boost with her strength, Jesus. No, that's not important. The main thing is, we can only gain so much if we go around robbing others at will, and we risk drawing too much attention on ourselves. You said you could deal with a few policemen, but they might take notice if we keep committing crimes. If that happens, we will have more than just a few problems in our hands. So what? So what? The police are only humans. I will do the same thing to them, even if they bring in the hun. I will do the same thing to them, even if they bring in a hundred. You saw what happened last night. That's because our opponents were unprepared. Based on this based on the serious weapons they have now, ten of them ten of them will be quite tough for you, let alone a hundred. Hmm. Stop playing tricks on me, you coward. Say something useful or shut up. I'm not a coward. But I'm not really in a hurry to die either. Ella waves a hand, condens condensingly emotions for me to be quiet. Here's what I think. If we really want to rob someone, the first thing we should do is to avoid any confrontation with the police. Who doesn't know that? Say something useful. And we should rob a rich one, not any random passerby. Think about it. People normally carry limited amounts of money with them. And the guard only had a few $10 notes the other time. He was quite loaded. Like $110 or what he had? Jesus Christ. Yela simply nods and isn't raising any objections. So I lick my lips and continue with my explanation. 
However, people need to buy things at shops and make their payments there, so those places should have far more money stored inside than any person you see on the street. Oh, that works! Bravo! You have guts, my servant! I'd only thought of looking after your week's build at first, so I didn't look at such a big target. Since you've put in the since you've put it this way, let's find a rich and unlucky shop. Shop. Since you've put it this way, let's find a rich and unlucky shop. No, don't forget the police. We need to avoid them. How are we going to avoid the police with such a blatant act of robbing a store? Of course, we can't do it in the city since the police are on patrol everywhere. But we passed a rundown suburb on our way here from your estate. I remember we didn't see anyone in uniform, let alone the police car there. Suburb? Right. We are now certain that our target is a store in the suburbs when we deduce along these lines. We will not only avoid the police, but we can also gain a lot of money in one robbery. You... Ella is staring at me quietly. What? You've become so smart after one night. Are you really that idiotic servant of mine? What do you mean? I've always been this way. I never changed at all. Oh, I only praised you a bit. And your head is already in the clouds? Your idea sounds good, but actions speak louder than words. Alright, let's go then. Okay. Wow, I think we're gonna um, end this episode here and do the next reading next time when we find out how the next paths are what do you think about that i think that's a good idea so i hope you enjoyed this yeah it was a lot of um, old stuff mixed in the new stuff so i hope you're not binge watching the show right now and <laughs> this let's play or the visual novel and uh, yeah, we aren't too bored by this one this time. But yeah, next time it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna see a new ending probably. So I hope to see you again and have a nice day, nice evening. Goodbye, everybody.